Hi everybody! Thanks for tuning in on my channel. Okay, I have just found a quote and I don't know who said it necessarily, but I do know that it was so profound. It literally inspired me and encouraged me to make this video. So here we are. This is it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you listening? Okay, great. <sighs> Speak what you seek and tell what you see is what you've said. How profound is that? I'm going to say it one more time so you can feel it embedded in your soul like it is in mine at this very moment. Speak what you seek and tell what you see is what you have said. With that that quote, that it, it, it's like, it's so profound and it's so deep because literally the things that you are speaking every single day, repeating, they will come into fruition in your life. It's so important that we really take responsibility for the words that we are putting out into the universe, the words that we're putting out in the world, because those words like uh, that whole image, if those words were tattoos and all over your skin, would people see something beautiful or would they see something that they would rather just turn their head and not even uh, be viewing, right? It's so important that we really take responsibility for our actions on all levels. I know it can be hard. I know. I mean, I, I've, I've had moments in my life where there is negative thoughts, right? And then those negative thoughts can turn into um, a word, right? And then that word can then turn into an action. And then that action can turn into what? A, a behavior that actually becomes habitual, right? And we want to destruct all negative patterns, all negative thinking, right? How do we do that? How do you destruct negative thinking? you immediately, if something comes in your mind that is um, destroying the beautiful person that you are and your amazing energy that does reside within you, as soon as that negativity comes in, you just acknowledge it's there, but you just let it go and you uh, put a beautiful thought, a beautiful image in your mind and replace it for uh, something better. And the, the grateful thing that happened from that negative thought or that negative experience. All experiences are life lessons. I can say that till I am blue in the face because all experiences are life lessons and those you cannot pay for in school. I have experienced so many tumultuous experiences that when my book comes out, I will share in more detail. But I mean, there has been times that I, I almost thought I wouldn't have made it beyond that experience that was so traumatic and tragic and that could have very easily taken my life. But I was stronger than any negative and destructive thought pattern or experience because I knew that was going to be my greatest teacher. That has allowed me to be here right now, this very moment, sharing with you what has inspired and encouraged me and helped push me through and into my purpose to utilize my voice that I've been so very blessed to have, right? The the words that we speak, right? We have the ability to uplift and encourage one another. And I am here telling you, you are going to get through this. There is no if, ands, or buts. It's just the timing and understanding there is a season and a reason for everything that you are going through in this very moment, okay? Now, I'm gonna say that quote again so that you can be there with me. What you speak into existence, that will come into your life, right? Who you surround yourself with most. How big is your dream? Are, are you settling for down here because you're scared? You're scared to dream so big? I, I will say firsthand, I, I was told that my dreams weren't uh, going to come true. I was told that there's no way that I was going to be able to achieve A, B, or C, being on film and television and all of those things. Why? Well, it just wasn't possible, but that was somebody else's belief system. Do you understand? Why did it come true for me? Because I dreamed bigger. I didn't settle for somebody else's thought patterns, right? I didn't settle for somebody else that didn't believe in themselves enough to follow their, per their purpose to the fullest extent. Maybe, my dream wasn't their purpose and that's okay. My dream to be in, able to help others and encourage them, my, the top way for me to do that was through media, 
right? So here we are, you guys are tuning in and I thank you for that. But just don't settle for a dream that is less than. You can dream big and if it scares you, that's okay. It scares you for a reason because that achievement on the other side of fear is where it's going to catapult you into where your destiny is, where you're destined to be. But you can't give up, you have to try. Then you can at least say that you tried and if you failed, no, it's not a failure. It's a learning lesson and it's experience that is going to help mold your character, right? So I'm going to say that again, the quote that inspired me today, it was what? Speak what you seek and tell what you see is what you have said. You, there is so much power in the word, right? So much power in the word. So make sure that what you are saying is more than just complaining. What you are saying is more than just complaining. So I have five tips for you today. Five tips. Are you ready for them? Are you? Okay, here we go. I wrote them down. I took a couple of quick little notes. One, do what you love. You do not have to do what you do not love, right? Don't just take a job because it's the first job that comes to you. Take a job that you actually enjoy doing, right? Do something that you love because life is worth living, right? Two, live without fear, right? Live without fear. And that's hard to say, I know, for some things, you know, but just don't let fear take over your life. If you let fear take over your life, the chances of you achieving your goals and dreams are going to be that much smaller. And I'm saying that from experience. Me getting on stage and speaking in front of thousands of people, that scared me so much, and it still does. But I do it because I live beyond fear. Moving to a city of three million people all by myself, that was very scary. You know, I knew one person and I did it anyway because I lived beyond my fear, right? And you can do it too. Live beyond your fear. Three, don't complain. I know that's hard. I, I know I have moments too, we all do. But really try to speak about the beautiful things about whatever it is that you might want to complain about, okay? Focus on the glass being half full instead of half empty. Focus on your abilities, not the things that you cannot do or things that you might do differently than others, okay? Focus on those things. Gratitude, stop complaining, that's three. Four, okay, four. Do you have a goal? Do you have a goal in mind? If you don't have a goal, set a goal because your destination is really important. If you don't have a goal, then you really don't have a destination and you can be meandering around without any direction. What happens without any direction? And no GPS, you're gonna get lost because you really don't have a goal set in mind. And you're gonna be like, hmm, okay, how can I get over here to that road? But I, I mean, why don't I take this road, this detour? You're going to be all over the place. And the chances of you achieving your goals are that much slimmer because you don't even have one in the first place. You're just living life. And that's okay if that's the life you want to live. But if you want to achieve things and you have dream set, which I highly suggest, dream big, okay? Make certain that you have the destination and the goal. Set a plan. Write it out. Set a date, date that plan, okay? Date it so that you can actually look back and achieve it. And I highly suggest doing inspiration boards. I really love them so much. I'll show you mine right now. One of them, I'll let you get a little peeky. See, here's one. It's backwards because I'm having you do. So have an inspiration board that you can look at and that you can um, view every now and then. And be cautious of what you're watching on television. The things that you're listening to, the books that you're reading, if you're not reading books, do it <laughs> or listen to audiobooks. but you have to continuously learn. Learning is such a beautiful gift, right? There's so much out there and then we can share that gift with other people. Okay, number five. Wait, did you set your goal yet? If you don't have your goal set, you better set it right now or multiple goals. Because I have to tell you, I've set many, many goals and I have many more that I plan to achieve. And I wanna thank you for just staying tuned here on my uh, my YouTube, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and on my IGTV. That means so much to me. All right, goal five, goal five, or uh, tip five, is enjoy life. 
Don't put so much pressure on yourself that you actually eliminate the joy because we really have the ability to be overflowing and abundant with joy. It, life is a gift. It's a beautiful journey and it's meant to be enjoyed. Never take it for granted. Never take it for granted. Every breath you take, think about that as a blessing because it really is. There is someone that is on their deathbed praying for the opportunity to achieve or do that one thing that they never took the opportunity because it was too scary, too fearful, too risky, or they're just wanting their family members, but whatever it might be, just take the chance, take the risk. Know that you can achieve your dreams. You can achieve your goals. You might have to do it differently than somebody else, but you can still do it within reason because I mean, we know I'm not gonna be like this. Okay, I'm not gonna talk negative. See, negative talk, that can come right in. But guess what, you can, you can do it, okay? Trust and believe that, trust and believe that. So remember five, enjoy life. There you go. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And uh, you can also book a life coaching session with me. I do have those available. If you go to my website, www.tiffanyadams.com, you can book a session, one-on-one -on -one life coaching session or fitness if that's something that you're also wanting, nutrition plan, uh, sports plan, whatever it might be. Thank you again. Stay blessed.